six Monty boy here. Yo. Keep being your amazing self, boo. Thank you. to you. Besitos to mods. Besitos to chat. No besitos for anyone but me. They're my besitos. Back up. Still but chat. Fucking guy. Gre is it Greco? Greco. Gecko. Thank you for the prime, bro. Thank you, thank you. Monkey. I want besitos. You get none. Chat, you want to do uh, confessions today? You want to do some confessions? Defended someone that did, even covering up is worse. That's terrible. Mm, yeah, you want to do confessions? Okay, chat. We're doing chat confessions. All right, here. Hold on. Boom, boom. One second, one second, one second, chat. One second, chat. If you look... One second. If you look in the Discord, exclamation point Discord if you would like to join, in the subs category, there's a place called Confessions. You join in here if you would like to confess your sins. You will go ahead and state, you, you will greet me with respect because I'm a fucking minister. I'm a priest. I'm a father. I am Sir Father Kangelstick III, and you will fucking address me as such. Don't have me violate you, bitch. Don't be like, oh, oh, what do I say again? What do you want? You know what to say. It's Sir Kangolstick the third. That is my name. And that's what you will address me as, you peasants. Join in if you would like to. Uh, it's going to be completely not anonymous. Uh, we will drag you in one by one. You will go ahead and say, Sir Father Kangolstick, please forgive me for my sins. Okay? And then you will continue with your fucking com uh, your confession. That is it. 18 plus if you're not 18 plus i don't want no sexual fucking talk okay i don't want to this one time this boy held my hand and i don't want to hear it okay it better be a fire ass confession like this one time i fucking i was in walmart and i really had a poop i couldn't find the fucking thing so i went Monkey. in the baby section i, I unpacked a, a, a diaper i put it on i shit myself and i walked out the store with it that's a good fucking confession i don't want to hear this bullshit this oh this one time my friend had a boyfriend and he texted me and yeah like i don't give a fuck okay it shit better be fire get your confession straight before joining into my goddamn ministry you understand me let me get fucking Kai as well. Let me get Kai. Got me fucked up. Got me fucked up in this bitch. In this bitch. Let's do this. Chat confessions. Ah, my phone! Fuck! I ordered food a while ago. It's cold. I'ma eat it. Ah! All right. Chat confession time, bro. Oh, this is... Oh, fuck. Ooh, shit. Oh, chat, mute me if you don't want to hear anything nasty right now. Mute me, mute me, mute me. Mute me, mute me, mute me. Hey, Kai. Yeah. Yesterday, I went to the gym. I threw up. I oh. threw up, and there's a whole pickle just chilling in the sink. Did you eat it? Thought about it. A whole He's pickle? Fat. Like like a pickle slice. There's like a picture for you guys. Should have saved it for me. I would have ate it. Hey, we're doing confessions. Oh. You ready? You got therapy ready? 
Do I have therapy? Of course I have therapy ready. Come on mm, now. I like that. I like that. I need that. Hmm. By the way, how's your day? You good? That's great. That's great. I didn't do nothing. Mm. I did a few push-ups and then I did like uh what did I do? I did push-ups and then I slept. Hmm. Active life. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and get someone in here. Hello, my child. Uh, hel hello. Hello, so Sir Father Kangalstick III. Please forgive me for I have sinned. And hello to you too, Sister Kai. I was about to say you did sin. You didn't say hi to me, asshole. The fuck? I said hi to you. You did. Yeah. I was just about to say that, but I didn't because you did. Are you starting problems? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't even know if this is a bad one, but I'm just confessing this here because fuck it. Uh, I was a hot mess when I was a kid, so I would tend to snatch up some shit mm. from anywhere, even stores. Mm -hmm. I don't do it anymore, and I don't condone stealing either. But I remember one time, uh, me and this uh, other girl, I was getting out of uh, school. And we went to, how the fuck did we go? We went to Target and I had found this really cute purse and I actually did intend to buy it, but then I forgot my card at home and I was looking around to like find some more stuff. I ended up snatching up a couple like smaller items, putting in the purse. And I ended up just putting it, putting the whole purse with the smaller items inside my bag and just leaving, like dodging the fuck out of the store. And the moment I came back, um, Loki, my picture was kind of like on the wall. It was kind of blurry, but it was on the wall. And at the time, I had like changed my hair color. And I was looking at it and I was like, oh shit, they actually recorded me and such. So I kind of uh, went through a mad dash around the store and I kept seeing security around. And Loki, one of them kept their eye on me. Uh, they kept their eye on me, and eventually they kind of caught up to me and asked me, like, hey, Lucky. you, what you doing? And that's when I did a mad dash and just, like, left the fuck out of the store again. The only reason why I went back to the store is because I had to get something for uh, my mom at the time. But one of the security guards, like, I feel like they recognized me, so I had to do a mad dash, and I never went back there. And to this day, they still got my picture there. Do you still have the purse? Yeah, I still have it. <laughs> it's in my closet right now. <laughs> I mean, it's a reliable. I mean, I would say that's that's a great come up then. That's great. You, you guys choose a picture of it and mm. then put it next to your picture. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Well, that bitch ransom. For real. Nah, but yeah, I still have the purse. I was thinking of selling it, but low key, it's like old. So I'm probably just throw it away. Mm -mm, keep that. Pass it down from generation to generation, bro. <laughs> I'll pass it down to my my next generation and be like, here you go. I stole this. Now it's your turn. Pass the torch. Mm. Do you ever think about stealing more bags and, and other stuff? Or? Not really, because like the kind of like the guilt kind of caught up to me at one point. But uh, I mean, I will say Mama Bell, uh, my mama be snatching up little shit from time to time, too. Just like little shit, not like big things, but just tiny like pens or whatever. But then sometimes she'll end up snatching up like smaller stuff. And I literally would start laughing and just be like, Mom, put it down. I don't know. I don't so steal it. in the family. <laughs> it kind of does because my aunts do the same damn thing. Look, fuck it. Look, I'm snitching my family because fuck it. But yeah. No, I don't do it anymore, but they do. I don't say shit. If they get in trouble, that's their own problem. I ain't bailing them out. <laughs> you gonna know, you know, break them out, though? You gonna know, steal them out? Hell no, they did that to themselves. <laughs> if I had to, if I had to break right. myself out, then shit. They ain't never gonna break me out, so why would I do the same for them? It's not me being harsh, it's just, you know. Your family whole family is just filled with thieves, bro. What the fuck? Hey, man. I don't know. They, they just wild. You kleptomaniacs. Hey, they just more fucking wild than I am, okay? I was being a stupid ass kid. Mm. Sure, I'm still kind of like one brain cell, but you know, mm. at least I learned my lesson by doing a mad dash and almost getting caught in fucking 40k. Mm. Wow.
Wow. Well, your sins are forgiven, my my child. Your sins are forgiven. <laughs> oh, we. The Amabel, thank you so much. I appreciate you. No problem. You have a good day. You too. You. Hey, put that put that motherfucking. I see you trying to put my pen in your pocket. Okay, but but keep that on the table before you leave. Yeah. The shiny things appeal to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> uh, bye. She don't know, but I took her earrings. How you do that? Cause I'm better than her. Mmm. Mmm. Good afternoon. Hello. Oh shit! I got dragged. Um. <laughs> Hello, Sir Father Kindle Six. Forgive me for my sins. Mmm. Uh, um. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna tell a story I haven't told before. Um, way back in high school, uh, like junior year, I think, uh, I had a little, I had a little bit of a uh, friends with benefits kind of thing going on, and it didn't exactly go as planned. Uh, it was supposed to be kind of like a down low, like secret kind of thing. Uh huh. And the uh, the two people we we kind of trusted. Uh, oh god, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> um, no, the two people we kind of trusted kind of told a shitload of people. <clears throat> told a shitload of people. Uh-huh. And we called them out on it. And instead of dealing with it, they, uh, they moved to Florida. They just, they, they just left. They completely, like, they left the state? <laughs> they, 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 left, they left the, they left the state, bro. For, for for what? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even joking. They straight up left the entire state. So you made them move. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> Are you and that friends with benefits still a thing? No, no, we're not even on speaking terms now. Oh. Oh damn. No. <laughs> it went. It went south really bad, or really fast, rather. Hmm. Hmm. She moved to Florida to her. No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass still afraid that I'm going to run into them on my campus because we go to the same college. Oh, you in Florida too? No, no, no. no. Oh. I'm, from, I'm from Boston. Okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Damn, sorry for that. Damn. This, this is awkward. It's awkward as hell. Mm. Wow, I mean, well, your sins are forgiven. They should have shouldn't have been talking shit. Your sins are I'm forgiven. True, true. Mm hmm. And you didn't say uh, hello to, to Sister Kai. Would you like to go ahead and say hello and goodbye? Hello, Kai. You Good morning. Goodbye, Kai. Goodbye. <laughs> Later. You know, I'll be brother, Kai. You want to be brother? You could be my, you could be brother, Kai. Go ahead. Mm, they still calling me Sister Kai. It's okay. Nah, nah, nah. Gwenatron. Hello, Gwenatron. How you doing? Mm. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good morning. Uh, hello, sir. Other singles like the third and brother Kai. Mm. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In April, and it's like I keep finding stuff out till this day, but like. Anyway, so I have like this guy. I had like this guy for a while. And um had him. Like, Sound I'll quite have... possessive. What do you mean by that? I don't like him anymore. I like him at the time. Mm, mm. So like we like we were playing for I think like a month and then we went on a trip together and like my best because my best friend was also on the trip and then um oh my gosh i'm like nervous <laughs> like because i told my my best friend had known that i've liked him for a while and um next thing you know she's like all over him mm. and like she's flirting with him and I find out that he was talking to her 
while he was talking to me. That fake then, bitch. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> City boy. But um, <laughs> and then after like we get back like to the trip and then she's like, oh, by the way, I was talking to the guy like you have liked. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And she's like, well, I, we're not talking anymore. So you can have him. I'm like, oh. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. So were y'all together or did you just like him? We were like flirting. Okay. Like, we started, we just started talking. Mm. How old are you? I'm 18. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. And then oh, I have more though. Mm. So like in May, I was like, you know what? The situation's kind of calmed down. Um, so me and the guy start talking again and like we're talking for a while and then he ghosts me, he ghosts me mm. and next thing you know my best like my best friend who was talking to him calls me in like a group facetime with a couple of other girls saying hey are you in da -da -da talking and i was like uh yeah and she's like well i have these other girls that are also talking to him Mm. And they all came with receipts, and he was talking to me and three other girls at the same time. The goat. <laughs> mm. So, so what are you confessing? And yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. No problem. Your, your sins are forgiven, Gwenatron. City voice, city voice. Thanks. Not me, though. Stay safe. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oh. All right. All right. Is that? That was therapy. That's that was therapy. Yeah. That was no confession. That was a goddamn therapy. All right, chat, listen, we, we need to talk about confessions, okay? <sighs> Don't fucking trauma dump me, okay? Don't, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Gwenatron, no shade to you. Thank you for coming on. I'm sure you're very nervous, but we need confessions. The silence was real. We need some bad shit. We need some, uh, like you slashed someone's tires, okay? You poked a hole in a condom and now he paying child support. Like some, some crazy shit. Those are the confessions. You feel me? We need, we need some. You feel? No, that wasn't trippy. I didn't get trauma dumped. No, but it was more just like a. It felt like a story that really had no. You know. Cool, cool ya. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Wait. Let me. It's in the on. edit chat on Discord. Okay. Oh wait. Hello, Father Kanglestick the Third, and Brother Punks. Oh, kicker! Uh, I don't really feel bad, for you, but my she she didn't even she didn't even notice she didn't even notice, bro. She didn't even notice. For the past, she's still going. What? She's still going. She she even she ain't correct oh. herself for nothing. How do you sound? <laughs> Yo, Punks, be quiet, bro. Go ahead. Wait, with why? Your... Huh? Yo, I didn't even say anything. No, no, no. It's nothing. It's nothing. Sorry. Punks is just fucking giggling over there. Okay, anyways. Um, my confession Yo. is for the past three years, I have been spitting in my mom's boyfriend's food. Wait, repeat that one more time. <laughs> So I've been spitting in his my mom's boyfriend's food for the past three years. Um. Oh my! Like, are are you usually like the one that cooks in the house? Yeah, I cook everything. Like, I learned to cook. Like, I practice every meal. Actually, no. I think spitting is a 
I've been chewing his food and spitting it back in. Oh, like, my, your yo. baby birding his, you a mama yeah. bird to him, bro. Yeah, um, what did he do to you? He just makes me mad. Like, I don't like him. Like, for the past, like, every, it's a long story, but he just, every time he pisses me off, like, I'll spit in his food because originally my plan was to put Lysol in his food, but I thought that was. Lysol? You'll, <laughs> you'll kill want, him. No, no, because I I tested it out one time and he only got sick, but I didn't put a lot. Almost nearly killed him. He didn't <laughs> die though. He didn't. No, die. and then okay, so I think I, there's context because I just don't think I think my mom can do better. So I like, and he just is a bum. Like he just doesn't do anything. Like I make more money than him. So mm. anytime he makes me mad, I'll like cook. I'll cook a nice meal for everybody. I'll make his plate. I'll put it in the microwave. And when he goes upstairs, I'll take it out of the microwave. Shoot, like it has to be specific foods too. Like I have to, you have to, it has to be done right. Can you hear this shit? Yo, this shit? what? Um, what, what you got, like there's a whole plan. Because it's, no, I mean, it, we're not judging here. We're not judging here. Like I'm, I'm just kind of oh, yeah, curious. No, I don't feel bad at all. Cause I'm still going to do it like probably three days or so. Like whenever he makes me mad. So, oh my God. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like, and I'll sit at the like, and once I, I'm done, like, or once he's done eating because he'll eat by himself, I'll just sit at the stop, top of the stairs and watch him eat it. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so what what foods do you usually do it with? Oh, I, I promise you, I learned cookbooks like butter chicken, tiki masala, like macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes. It has to be food that he won't notice that I like <laughs> glob of spit is in there. So it has to be like, oh my, you know. You nasty yeah, shit. Just mix that, big, that bitch yeah. in. Yeah, and then like it started, like it started so progressively, like I guess tame. But then like I started, you know, like laxative, like the powder. I start putting that in his coffees in the morning. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So he just shitting throughout the day, and he has no clue why, and he just eating <laughs> spit. I, you know, I can't do it too often, but like if he makes me really mad, like I will put laxatives in his coffee. What's like the most devious thing you've you ever want to do to him? I told you my original plan was to like, but I can't, I'm not going to say that, but um, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm not. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Say it. It's fine. Like, I'm so serious. It was the original plan was to put like, I don't know if you heard this, but if you take apple seeds and like ground them up and put them in someone's food or it'll like make them really sick. And I tried to do that, but I couldn't, I didn't feel like cutting up apples or anything, but that was the worst thing I think I've done. But for the most part, I think it's fine. And he just, so does he live there rent free? Like, well, um, no, he pays rent, but like, he doesn't pay anything else. Cyanide. I mean, like, rent. Cyanide. Oh, what yeah, do you mean? A color. Oh, okay. the apple seeds. Yeah, basically. Oh, <laughs> I saw it on a, um, TikTok. <laughs> hey, I see <laughs> apple seeds. How come I didn't die? Cause you have to eat a lot. Like it has to be a shitload of apple seeds. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think that's. Or uh, my other confession was the lot. I haven't told anybody this, but I went to a party and, like I said, I I don't know why, but I it was a show. But basically, there was a um. It was a it was a prank, but I took the laxative powder and I just put it in the drinks and at that like house party I just locked the doors so no one could go to the bathroom it, like okay can I ask you like what do you what do you get from this like are you is it like a thrill like are you excited no, when you do it it's like it, it's just simple like I'm just a petty person I don't think like, that's oh, petty you, I think I think you're actually evil like that thing no, I, yeah. think, no. I think that's that's the devil <laughs> so no. what did the people at the party do to you if you're just petty no it's not okay that's the thing it's the prison mm, oh, I, it's she's different it's different right it's different yeah because oh she's throwing a party like I don't like her and she doesn't want the party to go wrong so guess what something just has to go wrong and that just happens to yo me. you're a villain you're a fucking <laughs> <Me>? villain <laughs> oh my god no, I, I feel bad about that one, but like anything else, no, not really. Mm, I respect it. What are you planning to do if you get caught, like putting shit in your your stepfather's food? It's been like it's what well, years? It's gonna be four years, and I'm not getting caught. It's and been four know. years. It's gonna be four years, yeah. Because I started doing it when like what twenty 
<laughs> I'm gonna throw up from that, bro. This one. I'm oh my god. Man is ingested. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Y'all in chat, shut up. Someone didn't someone try to commit murder. I don't want to hear anything from y'all. You, you, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this, I mean, but this is a no judge zone, isn't that right, chat? Can we get the crosses in chat? This is right. a no, no judge zone. Thank you so much for confessing your sins. Thank you guys for listening. Am I forgiven? Like, I'm, I'm okay. Of right? course, you're forgiven. I don't know if God gonna forgive you, but I, I'll forgive you, I guess. Well, Kai, you well, forgive her? Uh, who am I talking to? Kai, you, you, can, you can forgive her. I, I'll it's forgive. Enough. Okay, Kai, I, I'll forgive you. You're not gonna forgive me. You never You never call me by my name. You don't get nothing from me. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. <I laughs> you call them punks. <laughs> No, I didn't. Yes, you, yes did. you did, bro. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want to hear anything from you. Okay, my bad. Bro, you owe me thirty dollars. Go, go stream or something. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I'll give it to you in uh in some food. You want some food? Yeah, no, I got go you. Stream, bro. Oh my god! Wait, I have a question. Hmm. Okay, when you like say say you have a boyfriend or or you eventually get like a husband oh, or whatever the fuck, would you do that to him as well? Absolutely. Oh my god. Oh my god. The vows are like what are the wedding vows? Do life and death. So Do death do us part. Yeah, that part. You you gonna kill him. That's no, that's the thing. I'm such a like laid back person. It takes a lot to make me mad. So for me to mm. do that I don't know how laid back you gotta be <laughs> to fucking spit in someone's food for four years straight. Correction, I spit and then chew it out. <laughs> And then I put it back. You are nasty. <laughs> I hey, if y'all need game, let me know. Any tips, tricks? I'll make a YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> I'll start doing TikToks and stuff. If you guys need, if your boyfriend, partner, girlfriend, mom, anyone makes you mad, just let me know. I have. Let me not. Let me shut up. Can I leave now? I yes, like you I can. Thank you so much for your confession. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. Bye, chat. Should not be allowed on TikTok. Oh my God, that's gonna create demons, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo, Kai, Kai. <laughs> that is the wildest confession I've ever heard so far. <laughs> oh I, I don't think we're gonna get a better one than that, bro. Four years, bro. Oh, oh no, no, that no. probably ate like a whole mouthful of her spit, bro. Yo, she was out here like a mother bird chewing it up and spitting it out on his plate, bro. Your food's ready. Hello, hi, how are you, Inkogins? What's up? How you doing? Uh, what is your confession today? Okay. Oh. Sir Father Kindlestick the Third and Sister Kai. Okay. I'll take it. Brother Kai. Brother Kai. Okay. Mm, I like that. Okay. So, I'm not trying to trauma dump or anything, because this story does get good. Okay, so today, like... Hold on, is this a confession? I'm, Are you confessing anything? Yes, I'm kind of confessing something, or, like, telling us, like, I don't know. But... You just snitching on yourself. <laughs> bro, okay, so... Um, this bitch at school tried to fucking... I'm suspended now, but... Um, this bitch at school trying to fucking like spread rumors and shit. Um, I make that hoe. You you um, decked her in the shit. Mm. Yes, I decked her in the shit. Damn. Um, but I'm suspended for like a week now, and but so she tried to spread rumors about me, like saying that because I like wear like kind of revealing clothes, not that much, and she said uh that like I wear revealing clothes, and I'm like. Uh, S L U T and shit, and she's the one that uh, wears the most revealing clothes and shit. And she used to be my best friend. The hoe, the hoe, no, hell no. The bitch is beat up now, but mm. I meet her. Wow. I meet that hoe. Hey, how did it happen? So she. So first off, she texted me because she, like, we just stopped being friends, like, a few days ago. Because she texted me, and she was like, bro, I can't be friends with you anymore. You're a S S L U T, And I was like, bro, why are you calling me a S L U T? Because, so, I'm, 
currently not in a relationship, but like I was jokingly saying that like, oh, I was in a relationship with like a family friend and like she wanted to take it as a cousin and she was like, bro, you incest monster. I don't know why we're friends anymore. Like, I can't believe I even liked you. I was like, girl, shut the fuck up. The fuck? Because she, I don't know why, but she's jealous because she can't pull bitches. <laughs> mm. uh, I, I could c- continue this, but like, do y'all want to hear the full story? Mm. I... Mm. I I think we got the gist of it. I'm not going to lie. I think we got the gist of it. Okay. Okay. But yeah, the hoes beat up, but I'm suspended now. And I mean, enjoy your week vacation. You know what I mean? For real. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Your sins are forgiven. Okay. Hello. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Frost. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Frost, what are your sins, bro? Confess your sins to me. Oh, you want some bad shit? Oh, no. <laughs> mm, dude. Ah, oh, man. Back when I was in high school, I thought it would be funny if I, um, I swapped out two contacts in my friend's phone. And I, it was this guy she was fucking with, and then it was my coworker from work, and I thought it would just be a funny little prank. And she started sexting my coworker from work, and I was like, uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't want, know what to do. I was like, he's like, what the fuck's going on? I'm like, I, I don't. It, it was just a prank. And. It just kept on going. I was like, are you going to say anything? I did not know that it was going to go that far immediately. I, I was fucked, bro. I was dead deep, motherfuck. You, you didn't confess this to no one else, right? No, 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 no. Okay, we... This is, this is bad. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> um, I, I used to work at a cell phone service repair store, and I think, like, my community knows that I used to work at a Sprint, and I was like, oh... Um, she came back and she's like, uh, I think, I, I like, I think something went up with my phone. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, it looks like it was a, a frequently known bug. I made up, I did that thing where you go up on a website and you change the script. So it edits the website. I was like, oh, it's a known bug. It accidentally sends things. And she's like, and I was like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got you. I, I just fixed it up and I just swapped out the context real quick. And I was like, oh my I, so I she doesn't know her thing. titties is out there on uh, uh, on your coworkers. No, 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 no. She didn't send pics, but she sent like she sent very, very provocative things that I don't think should have went to my coworker. Mm. It was, it was, was your coworker bad. texting back? Yo, he was just going with it. I was like, "What the oh, fuck are you doing?" My. I was like, what are you doing? I, and it wasn't even supposed to be like that either. It went, it escalated. I was like, the fuck are you doing? And it was, it was really, really bad. And I was like, dude, I thought it was going to be a funny, silly prank. I thought it was going to be like, oh my God, I thought she would notice. That got to be illegal. <laughs> that got to be illegal. I, I thought it was, I was like, oh my fucking God, dude. I was like, why did you play along? He's like, I don't know. It was, it was just chill. Like, I, I thought it would be funny. I was like, there's nothing funny about this. You could have said wrong number. Uh, <laughs> so I, I was like, oh man, I, I was like, oh, what the fuck, man? I thought it was, it was just a funny prank. I was just swapping out contacts. I thought it would just be funny and chill. And here I am just like shitting myself. I was like, I, I hope to God she didn't send anything. I was like, she sent any pictures? It's like, no, no, I didn't get any pictures, but she sent me some messages and he showed me the receipts. And I was like, oh, why the fuck did you go along? Because mm. I thought it would be funny. I was like, there's nothing funny about this. I thought it was a silly prank. Why'd you have to escalate things? So I, you know, it's a, it was like one of those situations where I had to eat one lie with another lie. And I, I worked at a service center, so she came in and got to get things mixed up. Mm. And I, I, I just like had to lie myself out of it. That was fucked up. Wow, that, that was, was that was that was a that was an oops. 
and um i mean i was all about like doing pranks back then i would go i would always go on like if someone left their facebook profile open I would always like like porn links so it would pop up on their Facebook and their whole family would see that. I would send people what? relationship requests to random people like their crush. That that was a thing that you can do. I was a fucking menace on Facebook. Never leave your Facebook in front of me. And then um you know um you know uh what is it? Fire Sheep? Do you know Fire Sheep? Uh-uh. So Fire Sheep was if you were connected on an unsecure network you could steal someone's cookie and a cookie allowed you to log in to their Facebook account while you were there. Cause it would interpret that cookie as you. And, uh, I, I just went ham on people's Facebooks all the time. I would do this shit at like Starbucks and I, I would just like fuck around. I tried to be non malicious, but I would just like, like porn winks. I was like, <laughs> big menace oh my god someone's taking over my computer i used to do that shit all the time yeah i um, you're evil <laughs> i mean you're i actually I've, evil. I've never said that i was a good person i have never said that i am a good person <laughs> but like i mean i i remember um my friends and i they, they were like script kiddies these guys went on to eventually do like military stuff like literal big missions in um what's it called like um uh, for homeland security but back then we did fucked up shit on our school network i remember one time we rigged one of our dances uh prom king equivalent i don't know who the fuck it was but like i didn't think it was funny i thought it was funny that we were rigging it but they uh do you know sql injecting sql injecting bro no <laughs> Well, <laughs> no. basically, SQL injecting, they rigged it so someone got an enormous amount of votes. And um, they basically, before they launched who the winner of our prom king was, what they did is, and I, I remember, like, we were all planning this fun little prank. They, and again, I don't think this was funny. I thought this was kind of a dick move. But they made one of the special ed students the prom king. And the school d district was in a really, really uncomfortable situation where it's like, oh, my God, we can't take this away from him. And, like, they were at a point where if we take it away, we look really bad. We have to make him prom king. And I was like, bro, bro. And I was, like, I was sweating because I thought we were going to get fucked. I thought we were fucked, bro. <laughs> I was like, this is not funny. That is not funny. You didn't tell me who we... I thought we were going to pick someone of our... I thought we were going to pick one of our boys. You picked a special ed student to be prom king. And now this, um, the school faculty is like, we can't announce that our prom king is a special ed student. And they tried to twist the narrative into like, we're making uh, this kid's dream come true. And I was like, dude, this isn't fucking funny, man. We're going to get in so much trouble. I was like shaking. Because I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, we, we installed Halo Combat Evolved on every single school computer. And that was the extent. And then this was like the next prank that we did. But I was like, dude, this, that's not fucking funny, man. That's not fucking funny. Ross, I can't forgive you for any of these. <laughs> get, get the fuck out of my PC! <laughs> <laughs> yo, get out of my PC! I can't. Yo, I don't got the power to forgive none of that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no, nah. Kai, bro is going to burn. <laughs> you can't get out, bro. Oh the fucking god. Oh my god. Oh please, up down, up down. Ooh. Hello. You could kiss. Hello, Father King of Steak and Brother Kai. Hello. What yeah, are your confessions today? Um, this was, um, long ago, I was little. Um, mm. I almost killed my cousin. 
Um, On purpose? Story. I'm not sure. I was a little kid, and my mom told me that I was laughing when I did it. So, I don't know. <laughs> so, um... It was at my house. We just got this new house, but there were my my dad and his co-workers were remodeling it. So it didn't have uh stairs for um going back um what's it called to go back outside of the house because it was like top so you needed to build stairs to go down. And we were running, playing um playing games, you know, like normal kids. And my parents left the door open to go outside. And I forgot that there was no stairs to walk. So um, I, I don't know if I was being stupid or just being funny. I have no idea. It was too long ago to remember. I pushed her down. And while doing that, I was cracking up, laughing at her while she was kind of bleeding on the floor. Yeah, and everybody watched because they were like remodeling the house and everybody was there. His, my uncles, his, her dad, my dad, my mom. <laughs> um, yeah, after that, I think my mom called me evil. No, my sister called me the devil for doing that and laughing at the same time. Well, I don't know if that was a confession or something. I don't know. Are you the same person that killed their dog? Yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> you don't got it. Thank, thank you so much. No, but do you forgive me though? <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I have to hear this. Thank you, thank you. No. You, you gotta no, go no, no. now. Thank no, Kenji, you, thank Kenji, you. Kenji, please, please forgive me. Kenji, Kai, please. Kai, go ahead. May Christ be with you. May Christ no, be Kenji. with you. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, bro! What the fuck? All right. Don't trauma dump me. What you got for me? What what confession you got for me, B? Hello, Sir Father Candlestick the Third and Brother Kai. Hello. Good morning. I'm sorry, but I've sinned. So there was this guy at my school that I despise because he used to go in people's lockers and steal shit. Like he, like, he just, like, went into their locker when no one's looking and stole shit. So I pretended to be his friend, and I got to that area in the friendship where we were, like, hanging out at each other's houses. So one day I went over to his house, and I put a dog shit in his AC, and his whole house smelled like a shit for, like, the next month. Why so silent? I, um, re repeat it for me one more time. I don't think I, I don't think I got a whole bit. I, I think we was breaking up. I, I put the dog shit in his, in his vents <laughs> because his, and then his house smelled like shit. For oh. like one... <laughs> okay, no, I heard that the first time. I was just hoping I didn't. Um, <laughs> bitch, trying to play me? You get a dog shit in your vent. Oh, no. I mean that's creative. That's I never I would never think of that one as. Mhm. Mm yeah, it came to me in the shower. Um, mm, shower thoughts. Those are great. Those are great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, that was all. Thank you so much for your confession. You You're welcome. G goodbye. Uh. Every time I do these, bro, I feel like I get farther and farther from God. <laughs> How do you even think of that? Oh, I mean, the idea came to him in the shower, bro. I don't know. <sighs> Hello, mint tea. Oh, oh. excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Hello. Sir, Father Kinglestick, and Brother Kai, how are y'all this evening? Doing okay, thank you for asking. Cool. Um, so, what I mean, when I say, like, this confession is, uh, 
not that juicy, I mean it. Um, so like in elementary school, we had like these Friday folders, which are kind of like evaluation folders for like how you did throughout the week or whatnot. And um, like they would give you like, uh, it's kind of like a, like, a, I don't know, but um, so I had did something, right? And they had marked my folder and I hate showing like my parents marked folders because it means like I'm either getting a whooping or I'm getting grounded. So <laughs> last week at school, I did something. Like I put uh, bits of paper towel in the water fountain so it'll get clogged up. And someone snitched on me to the teacher and she pulled me aside. She was like, you're not going to have to write that in your folder, right? Okay. Um, so uh, I took the folder home, never showed my parents. And if you didn't bring your folder back to sign, uh, you couldn't play at recess. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to sign this folder. And I forged my mother's signature and I'm in fourth grade, right? I can't, you know, do cursive. And um, she was like, I've been up this whole lot. I was like, she was like, did you sign this? And I was like, yeah, well, my mom got home pretty late. And I just wanted to give you all the folder. She was like, she was like, okay. And she wrote in the folder, did, I just hope, did so-and-so, um, get permission to sign this folder. I took it home. I was like, I'm not showing her this. And like last week of school, I didn't go to a recess because I never brought back the folder. And when we got out of school, I went home, ripped that folder up and threw it in the trash. Mm. Okay, okay. No one heard me say my government, okay? Small <laughs> little white lies. That's not bad. That's not bad. You're, you're forgiven. Don't even worry about it, you know? Don't even worry about it. I mean, fuck the folder, really. Am I right? Can I get an amen, chat? Ooh -wee. Well, thank you so much, Minty. I hope you have a great day. I hope y'all have a great day as well. I'm bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Hello. Okay, I'll go fuck myself. Hello. What is your confession today? Speak. Oh. Hello, sir. Whoa, wait a minute. How old are you? Hello? Hello, sir. How old are you? I'm sorry. I know I have a really childish voice, but I'm 15. That's because you are a child. All I'm right. Not, what, yeah, I'm a child, but not that young. I what is your and confession? Have... Is it is it like normal 15-year-old shit? Yeah, it's nothing bad. You sure? Hold it's on. like homework and stuff in school? Yeah. That I don't know if I like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know about this one, bro. I don't know about this one, Pikachu. I'm gonna have to kick you, okay? We we gotta do 18 plus, okay? It's nothing bad. I promise. I promise. You sure? I promise. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so there's a kid in my class. And he, he pisses off everybody, like everybody. Mm -hmm. He'll steal stuff from your backpacks, from your lunches. And so our math teacher has this pass and you have to use it to go to the restroom. And so one day he lost it and I found it on the floor. And he goes to the restroom a lot during math class because he sucks. Mm -hmm. And so I keep it. And our math class is like an hour. And it's right after lunch. And you're not allowed to go to the restroom during lunch. You have to wait, which is stupid. And so I hold it on for it for a whole month. And he never found out. I, get, I put it on the floor right where I found it at the end of the year. He never got to go to the bathroom. I'm pretty sure he, he peed his pants. Mm, so he lost his bathroom privileges? Hell yeah, he did, and I don't feel bad for any of that shit. Mmm, devious. Devious little one.
Mm. Well, look, he, he deserved it. He deserved it. He stole my lunch. He stole my money. I punched him before, but that's not important. Mm. Yeah, if I get beat his ass, bro. If I get just hit him with an I elbow. The elbow is like the sharpest part. You just got to come across. Like, mm, you feel me? Like, if you do it fast enough across their face, you know what I mean? You just cut their shit up. You know what I mean? Just Straight you know in the mean? eyes. Yeah. Right in the eyes. Uh, fuck yeah, fuck him up. Well, thank you so right. much for your confession. Your sins are, are forgiven. Hell yeah, thank you. Of course. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. I wonder if she's going to throw elbows at the kid. Can't wait for that one. Oh, wait. Innocent. Don't drag. <laughs> don't drag a Lee. Instead of Ashley, don't drag a Lee. <laughs> don't drag <at> me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is that Hapoy B? Maybe. Hey, Hapoy B. Hey, Sir Father Kangostick. How and are you, Brother Kai? I f to be I'm fucking terrified, man. Why are you terrified? I don't know, man. These these confessions be getting a little wild. No, oh, no, they're fine. Please continue with your confession. To be honest, mine, mine's probably kind of wild too. <laughs> oh no. Don't worry, so, we don't judge. Mmm. Mmm. Isn't that right, chat? Yeah. We don't judge. Mm. Amen. Can we get an amen? Sure. <laughs> Please continue. All right. So, um, last year, uh, because this uh, this happened at my work, uh, last year. There was this one dude who was like 19. This was, um, theoretically speaking, he was dating someone who wasn't 19. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to go into detail, but they were, it was very not okay. Uh huh. And um, so after, uh, after a while, everyone found out. And then this other girl, who's my other coworker, she was kind of like a dealer because like everyone there like smokes and vapes. Uh, she's kind of like their dealer, and so she thought, like the, the one dude's like you know not so nineteen, um, <laughs> found out because like he would go to her for like drugs. She like kind of like thought that they were you know seeing each other. They weren't. It was found out they weren't. But um, it it may or may not have been because of me. I may or may not have accidentally snitched. Uh, and so she ended up like fist fighting her outside of the store in the back, like near the dumpster. Uh, <laughs> there was a whole fiesta. It wasn't very fun <laughs> watching this like 20 something year old, like, no, like 19, 20 something year old, like fist fight a, um, younger person, so to say. Uh huh. Uh, they both got in trouble. One of them got fired. Another one got demoted because the drug dealer was a manager. Oh, shit. No one found out that I'm the reason that snitched, that that happened. I'm keeping it that way. <laughs> oh, lordy. So you, you caused all that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. But it, it worked out. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, the you, relationship. that's great. That's great. And you still got your job. So that's great. Mm -hmm. I got promoted like a month later. <laughs> <laughs> promotion's crazy. <laughs> promotion's crazy. It, it was only like a 50 cent promotion. It wasn't much, but it, <laughs> it's, it's McDonald's, man. What do you expect? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow, that's, that's great. Well, congratulations on the promotion. You know what I mean? Nothing to forgive here. <laughs> I feel like all is good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, oh boy, B. You too. <laughs> I'm probably got a promotion for such a... <laughs> Got all that. <laughs> Hello. What? Hello, oh. Picasso. Oh, yo, yeah, what's good? Hello, Picasso. Oh. What is your sins today? I, I, okay. So, for context, uh... I'm not in school right now, obviously. I graduated already. But in, I, I'm still friends with my middle school friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mom hates them, even though she never met them. So I'm going to say it's racism, but like at the same time, who, you know, that's, that's some stuff that I don't got to get into. But 
for con that's the context uh sometimes i do hang out with them a lot they're like my best friends whatever who cares but uh whenever i do hang out with them it's always in secret and then that, it, it's just like that kind of anxiety it's, i do sometimes when my mom is like out to work i'll bring them over to my house or whatever but like that's not that's that's, that's not the story so I would say like a month ago. The story's not that juicy, but compared to like the other confessions, but I still find it kind of funny. So about a month ago, uh, I was I was meeting up with my friends, and that day my mom wasn't working, and I know she was gonna go out right after, so I left before her. But the problem with my friends is whenever we meet up, we're always like thirty minutes late. And that's because, like, buses and shit like that. And then we always have this one stop that uh, we always meet up at one spot before we go wherever we're going. So, and I know where my mom, my mom said she was going to go to BJ's that day. And the BJ's is near the spot that we hang out or meet up. So, I was there. I got there, like, 30 minutes late because of the buses. And I was, I was already on edge because I was like, Oh, what if my mom walks by? What if she comes by and sees me, uh, like, waiting here? And, like, I already had two of my friends there. So, we were waiting for, I think, like, three other friends to, like, pull up. Uh, but then, I also have this dab pen. And my mom does not know I smoke. So, I was just trying to, like, you know, heat it up or whatever, because it's not a vape, so... You have to heat it up because it's weed or whatever. Okay, wait. What? What's your sin? What are we? What are we confessing here? I'm on, fucking. I'm, getting, I'm, I'm getting, so I'm getting lost. The build up, the build up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Got you. Got you. I'm getting up. Sorry, I got like, yeah. So, uh, what happened? What happened was we were, we were waiting, but then I saw my mom walking walking up, and I got so scared, like my heart dropped to my ass. Oh my god. So what I did, I booked it. I ran across the street. And the thing is, I wasn't wearing like a a regular fit. Like she wouldn't notice. No, I was wearing like a specific ass skirt that day too. So she couldn't know. She she already knew what I I was wearing when I left the house. So I ran across the street into like the Dunkin' Donuts. And I hid there. And then I was like peeking through the window to see if she was like not coming by and I, I called my friend like yo did you see her because they know what she looks like but then they were like oh yeah uh i didn't see her what are you talking about i was like oh my fucking god so i had to stay in that dunking donuts like shaking and then like uh i saw her walking up the same block because this is also across the street she's going to the bj's so she went to, uh, she probably saw me ran so i was like fuck I saw her walk and go inside, like, the bank that was next to the Duncan. And I was like, oh, she's just going to the bank. No. She, she didn't even go in the bank. She just opened the door and then closed it. And then she walked a little bit up, and I saw her through the window, and I was like, fuck, if she looks a little bit to the right, she's going to see me. But then she didn't, so she, she just kept walking. And then, like, to the other bank that's, like, up the, up the block. So what I did was I opened the door, and then I just, like, ran out and ran downstairs to the train. And I saw, like, my two other friends. So they, we were just standing there, killing time for no reason. But I avoided all of that. And I was, like, expecting my mom to call. So, like, the whole time where me and my friends were hanging out downtown, I thought she was going to call and say, like, where were you? I thought I saw you. And I'm like, no, no. But she didn't call. But I, was, I still have anxiety. So... Yeah, I just ran from my mom and that. Just hung out with my friends the rest of the day. Smoked at the park, whatever. But, yeah. That's my sin. Mm. Oh, and I completely forgot to address you guys. Sir, their father, father Stick, the third, and Sister Kai. Brother, brother Kai. Kai. Brother Kai now. Brother, brother Kai, Kai got you. I my got brother, you, my you, brother, my brother. I got mm-hmm. you, I got you. Got you. All right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm, thank you for that. Your, your sins are forgiven. Don't feel guilty. 
You know what I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes you need a little smoke yeah. break. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shit, your mama was probably just trying to smoke with you, to be honest. She nah, probably trying to take the stress off. Bro, she's like a like a crazy Christian, bro. Mm. Like, Jesus is her life and everything. Mm. So, that. Plus, mm, the last time she I, I ever hung out with my friend, she probably, she I think she beat my ass or something. Who knows? Mm. But, <laughs> yeah. Damn. Well, thank thank yeah. you for the confession. I appreciate you, Picasso. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I appreciate you. Have a great day. You too. Hello. It's kind of lost, like. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I, I was I was kind of lost too, low key. But I saw someone someone put Cliff notes in chat, and then I, I kind of got caught up. They, they did like a nice little summary for me. I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Hello. Hey. 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 You're probably just nervous chat, okay? Not a lot of people could come in here, okay, and talk how they normally talk because you got they look in chat and see a bunch of assholes, okay? Hey. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. What is what are the sins you would like to confess today? Um, it's a little bit not safe for work. I want to say younger kids. Oh, wait, wait, how old are you? I'm, t I'm 27. Okay. Oh, then it is what it is. Go ahead and talk your yeah. shit. Man, fuck them I, kids. I, I mean, okay, yeah. Uh, forgive me, Father Kinglestick, for the third, for I have sinned, and Sister Kai. I mean, Brother Kai. Brother Kai, no, Brother Kai. <laughs> <laughs> so, back when I was in college... Yes, this was a while ago. Ooh, go ahead. Um, I was taking an anthropology class. And the first day I met my professor, and I was like, you know what? He's handsome. He looks nice. So I was just like, I'm going to talk to him. So I ended up talking to him because I only had like one class with him, obviously. And I wasn't going to see him anymore. So I was like, let me take the risk and let me talk to him. So we got to talking and stuff. And, you know, we started flirting. And it was getting kind of like, a little bit too much, but he started inviting me to his office Ooh. after hours. So I was like, I'm gonna go. Why? Your girl need the grade. Your girl need the other thing too. Uh, I need the hey. <laughs> so I went and we, you know, we were just talking and then we were getting closer and closer. And like when I said close, I mean, I was sitting in his lap and doing things I shouldn't be doing. But anyways, it got to the point at one point. It was getting like, you know, much. And I was like getting on my knees and stuff. And I was like, I'm about to give you the, you know, the, the God, God 3000. You earned it. And he let me like get to the point where I got his pants down and stuff. My like, I was getting ready. And then he was like, wait, I got to tell you something. And I'm like, what do you have to tell me? And like, he told me he was married. Oh, shit. He, I never knew he was fucking married. Oh. That motherfucker dumb. <laughs> I never knew he was married. So I'm like, I'm on my knees. And your thing right there. And you gonna tell me you married? Damn. <sighs> and he never wore a ring. So I was just like, I got up from under the desk. I was like, I gotta go. You know, let me, let me catch the last bus home at this point. So I walked myself out and I ended up dropping the class. No, <laughs> what are you doing? You could have finessed, not... you could have fucking blackmailed his ass. Got all the money in the world and, and threatened to ruin his marriage if you fucking, are you crazy? No. What? Do this. That would have been yeah. a better confession. I would have, I would have forgave you. I'm not forgiving you no more. You didn't even sin. You should have went through the sin. I'm not forgiving you. You you could have went through the scene. You didn't do the scene. I'm so fucking what? Yeah. Bro, cock blocked himself. Yo, you ruined a marriage and blackmail. It's his fault, not yours. It is still my fault because I still fantasize about that. Oh my god. You fucked me up, bro. Like I'm still like, mmm. You should have went through with it. Finessed him, you feel me? And, and, and you could have got anything you wanted. 
I tell your wife you you did it from like that from the side, motherfucker. You do that thing, the thing. I got pictures and all that. You could have blackmailed the fuck out of him. I should have. I should have, but I was a good person, so I didn't. What do you well, mean? What do you mean? He wasn't being a good person. The motherfucker was married. You should have just finessed. Oh, you I you pissed me off. You're not forgiven. Person. Leave me. Leave me what? be. Oh Leave me God. be. Thank you for your confession. No, fuck you. You need to forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> I will not forgive a sin that wasn't sin, damn it. Get out of my church. <laughs> There's no good people in this world. There was one right there. What do you mean? She did the good deed. Well, she didn't do the deed, but she did a good one by walking away. Hey, oh, hold on. The sign is not you just deafened. Hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? What's your confession today? Uh, hello, Sir Father Candlestick the Third. Uh, my confession, um, ooh, technically it's not mine, but I witnessed it and I didn't snitch. <laughs> but, um, so this was a really long time ago and I had this teacher, right? And she like, she hated, me. like she would curse me out in the middle of like class and stuff. Well, not in the middle, but she would drag me outside and like curse me out outside of the classroom. And <laughs> so one day when we were leaving, because this was like in like elementary school, it was a really long time ago, but um, we were leaving and someone pushed her down the stairs and she broke her leg. Oh. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay, I mean, that escalated really fast. I mean, she de-escalated de from the stairs, but, like, wow. Um, uh, Everyone knew who did it, but uh, we didn't snitch because we all hated her. So, you know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Oh, wow. I didn't like her. She was, she was. She yeah, was no, she me. sounds mean. She sounds mean. So I mean, you get what yeah. you you read what you sow, right? Like, yeah. 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 Okay. Like, don't you wish it was kind of you that pushed her down the stairs? Yeah. Don't you? Don't you wish a little piece of you was just there? Now, Kenji. No, go go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. Get it all out. Uh, I mean, no. No, no. You don't wish you you was behind her, sparring, kicking her down them steps. Okay, no. all right, fair enough, fair Absolutely enough. Not. Um, and there's this, uh, other thing. Um, when I was a kid, I was a really bad child, right? And I would cry a lot, like, I mean, a lot. And my grandparents are hard of hearing, or, well, they're deaf. So, <laughs> as punishment, my mom would put me in the back of my grandpa's car, and she would leave me there crying. Wait, I'm sorry, they, they would leave drive. you in the car? No, 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 not alone. <laughs> like with my grandparents. Motherfucker, is this is this is this a goddamn confession <laughs> or trauma dumping at this point? What the fuck? Where the fuck did this go to? No. No, it was really a long time ago, so I don't remember it very often. My mom tells me about it all the time. Because I was a really bad child. So, yeah. Okay, well, you know, but you were a good child. Crying. It was just bad parenting. Okay, let's let's start there. Okay. Right. But get your little trauma dumping ass out my goddamn ear now. All right, Dasani. <laughs> I appreciate you. Go sit in that car, okay? I'm gonna put you in that car right now. Come over here and move you. Love you, Dasani. Love Thank you for the confession. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Kai, you ever got left in the car? Probably. Mm. I don't remember. I, I threw remember myself out. Like like second grade, bro. Dude, I threw myself out of like a moving car, like all cars. I just threw Damn. myself out of. Yeah. Oh, I think I did that too. It was a van. Mm. So I was getting my ass beat in the back seat while he was driving. So I just hopped out. Oh no, nah, I just hopped out because I just said I don't want to be here. Because <laughs> I had to get out there, bitch. <laughs> you was doing it for to survive. I was doing it to die. <laughs> <laughs> I got fucking pictures of me just fucked up. 
Big ass fucking lumps and eyes and shit. Black eye, all that. Let me see. Mmm. Noel. Noel. Hello, Noel. I'll go fuck myself then. Goodbye, Noel. Good afternoon, Trippy. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, give me one second, Kenji. Sorry. I'm just moving so you can hear me a bit better. My bad. Hey. Hello, Father Kenji Kengo Stick the Third, and hello, Brother Kai. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, so I got a first story. I got two stories. First story is, um, this is Times Square. Is Damn, I can't talk. <laughs> it was starts in Times Square again, you know. Not the Elmo story, I'm not telling that again. But uh, I may or may not have helped someone, a racist, a racist white dude get robbed at Times Square Station. You lying, some racist white dude? Huh? Oh, nah, go ahead, tell me. <laughs> okay, so I'm sitting here at the Times Square station, right? You know, I'm trying to get back home. You know, I'm in Manhattan, bro. Fucking, there's too many people around. I want to go home. So, you know, I gotta take the, I gotta take the train back. So I'm just standing there. I'm minding my own business, by the way. I got my backpack. I'm just chilling. And there's me and some other dude who, like, uh, I was talking to. Never talked to this man in my life. But he was really chill. Um, I talked to talking to him because he had a Yankee cap on. And, you know, got a rep. But uh, so I was talking to him and everything. And so some, some old, like, kind of not old, middle-aged white dude, like, walks up and everything. And, like, he shoves me. He's, like, he does, like, a shoulder shove. And I, like, turn my head. I'm, like, yo, excuse me? Because, like, I'm kind of, like, I have a fear of trains. So when I'm at a train station, I purposely like to stay away from the train line. Because it's a, there's a really bad thing where people just, like, shove you, push you up, shove you onto the train tracks just for the fun of it. Like, that's just, like, a thing mm. that happens here. So I purposely stay far away from the train tracks. This dude like shoved me and like I almost fell onto the train tracks. I almost fell down. And so like I was like, yo, I said, yo, what's your problem? So the white man turns to me and he's like, he was like, well, maybe if you weren't in my way. He's oh, like, he's nah. like, he said some shit like he said, maybe if you weren't in my way and you weren't a dumb bitch, then you know, maybe you know better. I said, excuse me? He was like, yeah, you know, maybe you should, you should go back to your own country. Oh and I was like, nah. I said, I said, I know I'm bugging because I know you did not just say that to me. And the person next to me, he, the dude who's like, word, he starts pulling up his pants. I was like, yeah, word. This, I was like, this motherfucker just said that to me. So, like, me and this dude start shoving this white man around. I'm like, yo, you want to say that again, bitch? Say it to my face. Like, I was all up in his face or whatever, because I'm a very calm person. But if you do some shit like that, I, yo, that snaps, that snaps the, the fucking anger in me to just be like, I'm going to fuck you, sh you shut up. So what we did is uh, we kind of beat the shit out of him and took his wallet. And uh, we got, like, what did we get? I think we got tacos at, like, a... Type of track. We spent some stuff on his thing and then threw his wallet onto the train tracks and it got rolled over when the next train came by. And we got on the train and we left. And I went home. Oh, you thugging. Yeah. Um, second story that I have is you're gonna be slightly concerned. I'm so sorry. It's not generally like anything too bad. But um so this was in middle school, I wanna say eighth grade, eighth or seventh grade. Um, I got bullied a lot, unfortunately. And there was this like mixed girl who like along with the other bullies always like to say dumb shit and like so we're in lego robotics not lego robots i'm sorry um we're in science class and um we're just like doing stuff we're learning about chemistry and like biology and stuff like that and i'm into it like i'm doing my work i'm keeping it myself i'm not doing anything to anyone so this girl she's sitting next to me like like her and like the other two kids at the table are laughing like aha yeah it's Ty so fucking stupid look at their ugly ass they're so fucking ugly shit like that I'm ignoring them I'm scribbling a chick and then this girl has the absolute nerve to say this she says you know what if I was Ty's brother I also would have killed myself and died I blacked out and I picked her up and I threw her so hard I I there was a hole in the wall that fit her to her outline I broke my school's wall by punching her through the wall. And I was gripping her neck with my hand and I said, if you ever, ever talk about my dead brother like that again, I will fuck you up. I said, you have no right to say anything. I was blacked out. By the way, my science teacher was sitting there and watching me. She let me, she let me say all of this and do that shit to her. But, you know, I probably shouldn't have, you know, thrown someone into a wall and broken school property, but I didn't get in trouble for that. I got no suspension. 
didn't have to pay a fine for the wall, none of that. But, you know, I mean, kind of aggressive. So I'm so sorry for my sin, Father Kennedy and Brother Kai. I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, I, I forgive you. Just don't don't throw me through a wall, B. <laughs> oh, I won't. Just don't piss me off, I guess. No, I'm joking. <laughs> You're too sweet for that. You're not joking. <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> don't be scared. I would never. I'm so serious. I would never. I would never. Never in my life I would ever. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I have any more other stories unless you want to hear more crazy shit about New York, which I don't think you want to. <laughs> Thank you so much for you confessing. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. I think I, there you go. We good on confessions today, man. I just I mean I had enough. I think I did too. I'm lightheaded. Oh fuck! Oh man, where do we go from here? What do we do? Mm. Oh man. You said you said sell out. That's you what you said. Right. Sell out. Okay, right. where? Wow, chat! If you look in the bottom right corner, we are almost at our daily sub goal. Halfway there. Whoa! All we need is thirty more subs. Ooey, ooey! Thirty subs, we hit our daily sub goal. Oh my gosh! Uh, YMC Gay, thank you for the three months. Double what up? Welcome back. Thank you for the five months up. DD Cox, thank you for the two months. Yellow Choo Choo, thank you for the hundred bitties. Missy, what up? Thank you for the hundred bits. Punks, what up? Thank you for the two hundred bits. Yellow, thank you for the hundred bits. Top Tiger, thank you, bet. Thank you so much for the five months sub. Wow. If you have Amazon Prime, that little crown next to your name, you have a free sub. Make sure to use it here and get free emotes and ad free viewing. Don't forget to use that Amazon Prime. And also, if you're not, if you don't have Twitch Prime, consider looking at Xmage Point Prime Command. Do, do all that bullshit. Ooh wee. Like that. Ow. Oh, no. I don't know if we should do any more. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Give me just one second. What do you think she's doing? Putting my chinchilla back. Oh, Trippy got prison <laughs> strength. Chinchilla? Yo, I heard they got soft ass fur. Oh, absolutely. I'll make a jacket out of them little motherfuckers. <clears throat> okay, I'll go ahead and get started so I don't know y'all. <clears throat> Hello, Sir Father Kinglestick the Third and Brother Kai. Please forgive me for my sin. Oh boy, this one's this one took place like a while ago. Um, I was in high school, suffering with really bad grades, coming home, getting whooped, and was tired of it. <laughs> Letting it not be known. Of course, I'm sulking around school, checking Instagram and stuff like that. Um, long story short, I blackmailed my teacher into giving me good grades. Um, so checking my Instagram, like walking through school, kind of trying to keep my head down and ignore the impending doom on my way home. Um, I found one of my teacher's Instagram accounts and she was like a middle-aged woman. So I don't think she really knew to like make it private or whatever. Right. Um, so I found pictures on her Instagram of like her and some of the students from my school, like people who were like in my same grade or higher and stuff like that. Um, after school, like hanging out in that way, I'm throwing quotations. Um, and in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, I have to show the principal. But at the back of my head, I'm like, I'm not trying to go home and get in trouble for having bad grades. I'm gonna take screenshots of these. So I started taking screenshots of the pictures on her Instagram and saved them to my phone. And it was about a week or so after that, after leaving her class, because she was my last period for the day. After leaving my class, I told her, hey, somebody sent me pictures of you hanging out with some of the students after school. Spam subscribe to Kenji, spam subscribe goes, to Kenji, what? spam subscribe no, to Kenji. No, you need to delete those, those pictures. You didn't see anything, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, I have them here. And I want you to do something for me to get them deleted. She said, you can't bribe me. That's illegal. Da, 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 da. I said, well, if you don't want to lose your job, I can go ahead and send these to the principal or you can listen to me. So she got real quiet and started listening to me. Right. So I said, you raise my grade 
by 10 points on every test and I'll delete a picture until they're all gone. So for a while I was passing with A's and B's, the end of the school year came Mm -hmm. and I ended up showing the pictures to the principal anyway and she got fired. You're devious. I'm sorry. (laughs) You're devious. I'm sorry. She deserved it for failing me. That's all I have to say. Oh my God. Half of the people got ads, so they couldn't even hear the amazing story you just said. You know what? Oh my gosh. One thing that could have solved that chat is subscribing to the channel. Make sure to hit that exclamation point prime and see if you have a free sub or subscribe with $5 a month. It's actually September. So you could get a 30% discount. $20, you would get six months of free ad-free viewing and amazing 60 emotes that you can spam globally on Twitch. Consider subscribing. Ooh, we. <laughs> oh my God. No, that's actually crazy. Holy shit. In my position, okay, Kenji, if you were in my position, wouldn't you do the same thing? Uh, I'm, I honor my word. I honor my word, so I okay. probably wouldn't. Okay. Uh huh. But like, we're, it's not about me. It's not about what I would do. It's about what you That's did true. Okay. And, and forgiveness. Yeah. And I do forgive you, you know? Thank you. And no problem, Calypso. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you, Kenki. Bye. Bye. You're an amazing salesman, Kenji. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just saying, man, you don't want to get hit with ads, bro. Not during one of the fucking juicy confessions. Maybe maybe one of the mid 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 mids ones, but not the juicy ones, bro. You fucking up everything, B. You fucking up everything. Hello to Satoronum. Hello. Satoronum. Hey, hey, asshole. Oh hey, asshole. Get up. Are you sleeping? Um, hi. Uh, wait. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> um, hi. Wait. What um... Hello, Melly. Oh, fuck me. We're getting to that part of it. I'm a bonkai. I'm a bonkai. Y'all don't want me to. Y'all don't want me to. He sleep. You gotta wake him up, B. Hello. Hello? Hello, Kenji. Hello. How are you? Uh, hello there, uh... R. Kelly, aka Kai. Um, Bro called you R. Kelly. That's (laughs) crazy. (laughs) How? He called you R. Kelly. That's a lot. Me personally, Kai, I wouldn't take that, bro. How? Oh, no. (laughs) So, um, I have a couple confessions. So, when I was a kid, I was a very, very bad little child. Um, My first confession is when. Uh, I used to live in a small town with lots of hills and stuff, and I don't know if you were around for these cars, but uh, my mom had a Geo Metro Mm. uh, convertible, and every time around like 6 a.m. during the summer and stuff, I'd steal her Geo Metro at the age of 5, 6, and 7 to go down to my best friend's house and chill with them, and every time I did, uh, I called his mom Crazy Carrie because anything she'd have in her hand, she'd beat us with. So, um, she beat my ass for that. <laughs> and, um, another time we, we thought it'd be funny to, um, now, not, I don't condone, before I say any of this, I do not condone animal, animal abuse. Mm-hmm. We were kids. <laughs> And we thought it would be funny. So my best friend, Kevin, he took a lighter and took and said, watch this. Oh, no. Put it on the dog's, 
he he went up to the dog come here and flicked it on its tail he got in trouble right so he mouths to me grab the lighter grab the lighter do it to cat so i grabbed the lighter and i grabbed the cat i had the cat in my hand and fucking just and watch the cat just and fucking run um we we took we burnt our uh, aunt and uncle's garage down when i was four uh i threw a softball from one yard away and i popped him in the mouth and his mom beat my ass and we we also threw rocks at people's windows and I, and after my mom took the Geo Metro, started locking the Geo Metro, I started taking um, her ex-husband's uh, motorcycles down there, and I still got my ass beat. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um... And and I think I was like in kindergarten and I brought a knife to school. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for for convincing you. Thank you so much, Will Cook. Oh, the badass little kid, bro. It just kept the... on going. Just kept on going. <laughs> I need to confess. All these confessions, I need to confess. Oh, uh, I used to throw rocks on the... <laughs> Some big ass rocks on the freeway. <laughs> When I was at younger, the cars? Yes. at the cars. <laughs> Wait, like from above or? Uh, um, hypothetically speaking. It, oh, oh no, never mind. <laughs> it's a confession to therapy. <laughs> All right, let's just That's pause a confession. Whoo, fuck. Hello, rock fest. I'll go fuck myself. Wait, oh man. So quick. Nix Marie, thank you for the 10 month sub with the message. Hey, love you, Kenji. What the fuck is happening? Right now we're doing uh what is it? Confessions. Chat is confessing their deepest, darkest secrets and sins. Uh Ragnar Rex, thank you so much for the five month sub and Kizviv. Kizviv's uh confession is my confession is I love Joy. Mmm, she does not love you back. All right. Then we are do we have Princess Tay here or am I bugging? Hey Princess Tay. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, sir. Water Candlestick the Third and Brother Kai. Hello. Do you have another Good confession? Morning. Yes. <laughs> mm. Okay. So my confession, I'm only here because Wynn is making me. He said that if I didn't confess, he was going to confess for me. <laughs> so when I was really young, I was an absolute menace. <laughs> and there was this girl that I was friends with in school and I would bully her into giving me her snacks every day. Uh, that's not and a friend. <laughs> I don't, uh, they had different no, no. definitions. <laughs> we were, we were friends. We were friends, but I was like, I was doing it as a joke. I swear to God, I was doing it as a joke, but I would, but I wasn't, I wouldn't even eat the snacks. <laughs> I would just do it. Cause I thought it was funny. <laughs> My God! No, the wor the worst part is because of that, my entire my entire fucking family found out, and for the next three years, my nickname was Snacks. I would show up to my fucking grandparents' house, and they would go, "Hey, Snacks, how are you?" You are bad. I am not. I swear to God, I'm a nice person. Me and this girl are still friends. Mm. <laughs> she, you know what? She, she, your friend right now. She's scared you're gonna go back to stealing her no. shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Your you sins are forgiven. Somebody. You don't have to worry about it. You know, she forgave you. I forgive you. The Lord. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, no, about that one. <laughs> Ooh, we. What the fuck? Oh, damn. Keep game, right? Yo. Right, so my God. <laughs> oh shit, Shizzy, what you doing, bro? What you doing? So one time, right, this I was at the start confessing. with my boy, right? Uh huh. I was at the library with my boy, you know what I'm saying? We was maybe about like 13 or some shit like that, right? 
No, you know what I'm saying? We was both kicking it to some shorty that we knew from the internet or whatever the fuck, blah, blah, blah. This is back in the days like MySpace and shit, right? Mm -hmm. So, boom. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking or whatever. I'm like, yo, we gonna link up on this day. Ah, 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 blah, blah, blah. She's like, cool. Come to find out. My boy agreed to link up with some shorty the same day, same location. So I was like, I bet it's lit. You know what I'm saying? Two for two, whatever. So we get there. We chilling and shit. <clears throat> it's me and him chilling. And shorty pulls up. I'm like, oh, in my head, I'm like, oh, that's the girl. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's my shorty, whatever like that. Ah, ah, ah. So he stands up and he walks over to the girl and like he hugs her and shit like that, you know, gives it a little kiss or whatever. And I look and I'm like, oh shit, she was talking to both. I right, damn, that's crazy, but it's whatever. I right, cool. So I dip, uh, you know what I'm saying? I go downstairs, I'm like, yo, I'm going to the bathroom, whatever, whatever, boom. Go downstairs to the bathroom, I take a piss, wash my hands or whatever. I go to leave and she stands in front of the doorway. And she pushes me back in the bathroom, I'm like, yo, what you doing? She closes the door, uh, blah, 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 boom, boom, boom. I end up smashing in the library bathroom, right? So uh, we do whatever, whatever. We go back upstairs and shit like that. And I sit down and I'm looking. And I'm like, okay, so what the fuck is she about to do? So she sits back down next to this nigga. So I'm looking, and I'm like, oh, shit. Damn, like she's grimy. That bitch is so, trifling. So, so they chill for we chill for like another 15, 20 minutes or whatever like that. So he's like, yo, we gonna walk her home or whatever. Uh uh uh. So they doing the whole couple walking with the fingers laced shit. Excuse me, walking in front of me and shit so we could take her back to the crib. We get to the front of her crib and shit like that. She goes, she gives me the hug, and then she kisses him. And they're, like, making out and shit like that. And I'm like, oh, no, man. Like, I just she just finished, you know what I'm saying? Like, in her mouth. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So I was like, damn. So we leave. We walking back to my crib to go play video games and shit like that. And he stops. And he goes, yo, my stomach hurts. Oh. <laughs> I don't look at this <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "What?" I was like, "Bro, like, what you think she?" Was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a good time. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Nasty motherfucker. <laughs> That was crazy. How don't you? How you wore your mans, bro? <laughs> oh man. Okay, Rob. As what Hi. is your confession Hello. today? Hello, Father Ken Kengel Stick the Third and Fa uh, Brother Kai, or if you prefer, Father. Um. <laughs> so this was a really long time back. I was in like elementary school at the time, uh, and I was a little bit more like heavyweight back then. So. And so I used to like walk to school and shit like that because it wasn't that far. Uh, there was this kid who started, ended up bullying me uh, for my weight and shit like that. I used to like not only walk, I, I used to ride my bike too at the time. And we had to walk through the same neighborhood. And every, si like for three days, this guy every single day would just like bully me. And there was a time that he was riding his bike in front of me and his ass fell off his bike right in front of me. So I literally just drove over his arm with my bike and I just, I ended up breaking his arm. I just continued to just go home. I didn't even know that I broke his arm at the time until his sister, who was apparently one of my friend's friends, came up to me and asked, did you run over my brother's ar uh, arm with your bike? Because you broke his arm. And I said, no, that was my twin brother. <laughs> Which I don't know why I ended up saying that. that that's even stupider. But <laughs> I was crazy for that. <laughs> oh, thank God. I can... Like... Uh, that's probably... just ran his arm up and said, oopsie and then he kept on going like what you... yeah no literally and i never got in trouble for it because i never told anybody <laughs> and now i'm telling like this all out right now oh my god 
<laughs> they, you, I mean, you're... Who shit? I, I wasn't the best kid growing up. That was probably one of the worst things I did, but I also, like... Because I used to really hate my cousin. I used to, like, bite him until he bled, too. But that that's a different story. <laughs> like, we're, we're focusing on breaking this kid's arm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I still don't feel bad about it. I mean, he, he, he had it coming. So it's like, whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never saw him again, though, which is the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's crazy. <laughs> but yeah that's that's my confession please please forgive me i i, I, I forgot forgive you i forgive you since i mean sometimes motherfuckers need their arm broken you know what i mean bet that motherfucker didn't bully no, you real. anymore you know what i mean no because i never saw him again he mm. he lived in my neighborhood but i never saw him again <laughs> mm, probably died probably internal bleeding or something, something crazy i um, mean <laughs> rest in peace <laughs> but i mean wow you, your sins are forgiven don't even worry Thank about it of course <laughs> <laughs> Accidents happen. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Abwa. Abwa. Kiki, thank you for the gifted tier one sub. Uh, Yo. So, right? So, peep game, right? So, it was one time, right? So this is one time I was at my boy's house, right? And he had a, you know what I'm saying? He had he had some some really fucked up tendencies. You feel what I'm saying? Very uh not into you know what I'm saying? Open-mindedness, very very phobic back then. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? It was it, he he would pick on one of our one of my friends in specific, you know what I'm saying? A uh, gentleman who was um you know say he would dress more femininely, but you know what I'm saying? You you accept the person for who they are. So, uh after a while, I started getting real irritated with the jokes and uh went over to his house one day with like two three other friends and shit like that cuz we used to go over there and smoke and like play Smash Bros and chill. And uh he was always a very very like lightweight smoker and shit so he would like smoke and fall asleep on the couch so i'm thinking about how he treated uh this our, our, our gay friend and i go in his room because stupid nigga always leaves his computer on and open and i print out mad naked pictures of dudes i print out like a good like 12 13 pictures of naked niggas uh and he's knocked out on the couch and shit like that. And I tape them shits around his room. And I leave a letter to his mom saying, yo, you know, this is actually who I really am. You know, I was scared to show you. And I was scared to come clean and talk to you about it because I didn't think that you would accept me. Mom, I'm sorry. Whatever the fuck like that, right? And I slid it on the door and we left. Nigga calls me. He said, yo. Yo, why my mom think I'm gay? <laughs> I was like, what? Hey, what you mean? He goes, nah, one of y'all, one of y'all play too much, bro. Like she stay asking me questions. She think one of y'all my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit went off for like a good four months, bro. And I was like, y'all don't know, bro. Like you should just, you should just be more open with your moms and shit. And like, it's not even like, it was like some old elaborate as plans just like his mom's wild gullible like there was a time where uh i convinced her that i was a plant i'm sorry like, i convinced her that i was a plant so it was the first time i went over to his crib um you know what i'm saying he introduces me and i'm saying called me by the govy and shit like that i'm like yo how you doing today miss you know what i'm saying it's a pleasure to meet you and everything you know me and your son hang out a lot and everything so you know i'm saying i appreciate you letting me into your home and showing me hospitality and she goes, oh, are you staying for dinner? You know, you know, we're cooking, we're making chicken cutlets and uh, arroz con pollo and shit like that. And I was like, uh, I was like, nah, you know, I'm a little offended that you uh, offered me the food because, you know, it's against it's against my uh, my way of eating and everything. You know, uh, I have a condition. And she goes, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Like, what do you what do you have? And I was like, well, uh, I have this thing where uh, I get nutrients through a process called photonuclear absorption 
And she was like, oh, what, what, what's that? I said, well, basically, I get all my nutrients from the sun. And she was like, huh? And I was like, yeah, uh, I don't necessarily eat solid food. I just drink water. And when I go outside, the sun, <laughs> the sun gives me the nutrients that I need. And I didn't think that she believed me until like maybe like two weeks after I told her this. Like she saw me outside and she was like, oh, you outside getting a snack, huh? Oh, you- my and God. I was like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, man. Nah. Yeah, bro. Uh, you photosynthesizing. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm photosynthesizing right the fuck uh, now. the fuck, bro? Oh, shit. Y'all niggas get any crazy confessions yet? Bro, too many. I'm I'm actually dra- like, Shizzy, I don't think you understand how drained I am. <laughs> like, I feel like I sinned. <laughs> oh, fuck, nah, I, I need forgiveness. The fuck. It was that bad. Bro, I can't. It was bad. <laughs> what was the worst one, chat? What was the worst one? Oh, man. I don't even know. Mom wasn't bad, though. We're just say, uh, the fucking food one. Oh, there was all right, someone for four years. They would spit in their in their mom's boyfriend's food for four fucking years. Like chew it up like like how a baby bird would eat, bro. She would bite it, chew it up. And then spit it out and then feed it to him. Four years, bro. Laxative in the coffee. Laxative in the... She's trying to kill him, bro. What? No, um, I can't. I'm trying to poison. <sighs> the fucking cyanide. She's trying to put cyanide. She's trying to uh, grind up apple seeds, bro. <laughs> put them in the <laughs> oh, my God. That's fucked up. Oh, my viewers, man. What the fuck? Today is a day. Oh, should we be on our talk show instead? Fuck that. We sound just chatting. Um, chat. I think I'm fucking done, bro. I- I'm pretty sure I'm done. I don't think I can take any more. I'm fucking gassed. Oh, uh, if Frost was such a phones, yeah. Nah, but put me in, uh with them with them. Ch- I'm good. I'm good on that. We'll do this again probably like tomorrow or another day, bro. Okay. I gotta go edit like some clips, put them in the TikToks and shit like that. Did you confess anything, Kenger? Um, I, I confessed one thing, but it wasn't too bad. What's the worst thing that you could confess right now without without incriminating yourself? Um oh shit. Without incriminating myself? Yeah. Uh like hee hee ha ha's. Uh I, I I fucked in my my <laughs> In, in my mom's shower, and then uh, <laughs> I, the condom was still in the bathroom, and then uh, I, I left to PA, and then my grandma saw it when she went over, and she snitched to my mom, and then my mom came and, and chased me around the motherfucker, and I had to lock her out the goddamn store. <laughs> she was trying to beat my ass. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what about you, Kai? Mm, I was like a little kid. Like a really little kid, I would put gloves on and throw dog shit at my brothers and sisters before they go to work. <laughs> I'm not work, but like school. <laughs> nah, you're fucking wild. I was a little baby, man. <laughs> Badass little kid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 